My cousin wanted to set up an online cooking stream from his kitchen. My name is Michael, and I promise to help him figure it out. We use the free program OBS, Open Broadcast Studio, to stream via Twitch TV and set up a two-camera stream with three distinct scenes he could cycle through. We resolved a bunch of issues along the way, so hopefully you can benefit from our headaches and solutions if you're looking to set up something similar. My cousin is a stand-up comedian. I do have an excuse for this body. I'm a professional chef. A professional chef that has worked in a Michelin-starred restaurant. He streams while gaming, but for the cooking stream, he bought two new webcams and hooked them up to an old gaming laptop. After he plugged the two webcams into the laptop, he let me remote in via Chrome Remote Desktop to start troubleshooting. First thing I did was create a new camera angle for each scene and label them. Keep it simple but clear. Side for the side camera and overhead for the top camera. In sources, you add video capture device, select add existing, and pick a webcam. Rename it. Here I use side cam. Do the same for the third and final scene showing both webcams in a combined scene. Move them around and resize them on screen to fit both and we're all set with the video feeds. That was the easy part. We soon noticed that the only working microphone was his laptop's built-in microphone, which was the worst of the bunch. We needed to get the webcam mics up and running. Spent a lot of time messing around in Windows settings, but that wasn't the solution. In the audio settings of OBS, I noticed all the mics except the desktop audio, which is the computer sounds, like when you're streaming a game or a video, and the main mic, which is the laptop mic, were set as default, and all the others were disabled. Clicking the drop down for the auxiliary audio revealed the webcam microphones we wanted to enable. Here it's important to note which camera's microphone maps to which mic slash auxiliary audio and which scene video capture source because you'll need that info later. I then manually lowered the fader slider, which is the line under the volume meter bar. I set it to minus 10 decibels to stop his voice from spiking into the red. I've since learned that you should adjust the mic settings and window settings before adjusting the OBS settings, but this way worked for us. You can also fine tune the settings by clicking on the cog for any mic and going to the advanced audio properties. Now that the mics were working, we wanted to only use the mics on the active cams for each scene. So the overhead camera's mic when using the overhead cam and the side camera's mic when using the side cam. But if you mute a mic in one scene, it's muted in all scenes. After trial and error, we figured it out. You need to add an audio source for each scene and make sure you choose to create new, not add existing like you did with the cameras. If you add existing, it's like a global mic where any changes will apply to all instances of that microphone. If you create new, then it's like a local clone of that mic, which you can mute and adjust without affecting other scenes that use their version of the same mic. Be sure it is an unused name, so here I call it overhead mic. Note that when you click OK, this is where the writing down of the mappings of the mics I told you about earlier comes into play. Doing it this way, you can mute the unused audio sources for each scene. You can add and delete sources with a right click or with the easy plus and minus buttons. There was a lot of ambient noise on the mic, even with the fader slider down 10 decibels. So I added a noise suppression filter and it was amazing. And then it's, uh... Wow. Make sure to add the filter to each mic in each scene. Now the combined view was tricky. At first I added both existing mics, but that was a mistake for two reasons. Number one, picking up audio with two separate mics gave a slight echo. Take about a half a tablespoon of butter. And number two, because the mics were existing, when I muted one in combined view to remove the echo, it muted it in all other scenes. Again, because I didn't create a new mic for the combined view. Now for combined view, we have blank spaces but we can later fill those in with a picture that shows the ingredients in one corner and the recipe in the other or whatever we want. We just have to make sure we move the background source below the cam sources to put it behind the video feeds. Next I realized we had black bars in the stream. This is because his laptop had an odd aspect ratio. So we had to stop the stream in order to change it and then go to video settings. The base canvas resolution is his native laptop screen resolution, which has a 1610 ratio. This limits the output scaled resolution, which is our streaming resolution, to 1610 ratio options, none of which matches the default Twitch TV 720p, which is 1280 by 720 resolution. So I changed the base canvas resolution from 1920 by 1200 to 1920 by 1080, which is a 16.9 ratio. That allowed me to select 
1280 by 720 for the stream. But I got greedy and set the stream to 1920 by 1080 and it was a bit too much. Here's why. 1920 by 1080 resolution is over 2 million pixels. 1280 by 720 is under a million pixels. So it's basically twice the size, which is a lot more data load on the laptop and the network. So the stream was a little choppy. I dropped the streaming resolution back down to 1280 by 720 and everything was smooth again. Yeah. Then I went to transform each video to fit to screen and bam, the black bars are gone. I had to readjust the combined view because the aspect ratio changed the size of each video window to a little bit bigger, but that was an easy fix. After this, he's going to hook up an Elgato stream deck so he can control the scene changes, mute his mic, and other production features by pushing buttons. If you're interested in seeing how we figure that out, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video about it. I'll also link to the cameras he bought in the video description. If you have any questions or want to let us know that we screwed something up, that's great too. Always happy to learn more. This is my first in-depth dive into OBS, so I'm sure we'll learn more as we go along. Thanks for watching. You got me. Punchline.